you know what the story is. Warm temperatures. Just check out the News First 25 Weather Observation Network. Super 70s after a high of 80 in Evansville, sliding to 73 in that 80 was an all-time record. Warmest ever uh, for this date, the 22nd of March. Warmest so far in 1988. Let's give Mother Nature a hand. It was just gorgeous out there. There was nothing bad about the weather today. Thanks, Brad and Shannon. Uh, I know they enjoyed it. Uh, even in the studio, we took a break now and then to stick our heads outside to see what was going on out there. Gorgeous weather, and you can see, well, look at this now. Sunshine, another factor that was something to appreciate out there. Did you see the sunset? Uh, just around 6 o'clock, another gorgeous red ball in the sky, dipping below the horizon. What else can Mother Nature provide us with? Well, it looks like moisture is going to come up eventually. In about 24 hours, we'll see a few clouds and then showers and thunder showers Wednesday night. Maybe some bigger thunderstorms developing Thursday, Thursday night, and Friday in advance of not this system. That one really uh, looks more fierce than it really is. Another one upstream which has more potency. Speaking of upstream, let's take a look at the jet stream now. 25,000 feet, the steering winds in the atmosphere. No longer is there any Arctic air in our picture, uh, just the last gasp of that stuff in the northeastern part of the country where temperatures today failed to get above freezing. Well, that's all being ushered out to sea, the Atlantic Ocean, with a Pacific flow, mild south west to northeast flow right now and eventually we're going to get some moisture in here certainly that will happen by thursday the forecast for two days from now up there in the steering winds well you can see a big drop in the jet stream that's a trough of low pressure that's the storm system developing in the plains for us a strong south component so we're going to remain warm there's some good news but gulf of mexico moisture is going to come back into the atmosphere and temperatures will remain comfortable out there. Oh, about 20 degrees above normal at least. Highs tomorrow, no, these were forecasted highs yesterday. You remember, we just got a taste of some of the warmth at 50s. Watch everything jump north and eastward for tomorrow's highs. The 80s, well, I think we got another shot at an 80 degree reading tomorrow. It depends on how much sunshine we get, and it should last most of the day. Tonight, clear. So much milder, you just can't believe it. We started at 32 this morning. Tomorrow, 50. You only need a light jacket if you're going out this evening or starting the work day tomorrow or school. Tom Whoa, sunny to partly cloudy, breezy, and unseasonably warm tomorrow. 79 again. The record's 84. Uh, it's a possibility we could break that, but I'd forecast it if I thought we could, were going to. 10 to 20 with a wind velocity Wednesday night. Pretty good chance of showers and thunder showers. Then a uh, possibility of thunderstorms Thursday and Friday. Cooling off for the weekend, but sunshine returns. 50s and 30s is average for March. Speaking of March's averages, how many thunderstorms? Oh, uh, we're going to guess four. Yes. That's right? Yes, four is right. Again, we're June and July up. is the peak month for thunderstorms, right. but uh, with eight. But those usually are the garden variety thundershowers. In March, when we get a thunderstorm, a lot of times it can be big, so okay. we'll watch to see if any big ones appear on the screen. All right. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> You're welcome.